So if you are here and haven't seen the review yet, I will suggest you to watch it first to understand my first impressions on the motorcycle. So let's get started with the flaws. First thing I'm not really happy about is the motor still heats up. Granted it's a single cylinder running on high compressions, but it's not something that can't be fixed. KTM still needs to work a bit more on this platform and find a way to keep the engine temperature low and the radiator fan quiet. The next thing I'm not a huge fan of is how they have tuned the motor at the top end. A couple of dyno runs reveals that KTM could have tuned it a lot better. I don't know if they did this due to BS4 norms or to increase reliability, but the new 390 doesn't perform as fluidly as the older generation Duke 390s used to. This kind of slows down post 150 kph, but that's an easy fix through ACU remap. Up next, the overall build quality could have been a little better. There are minor issues with the plastics and KTM also recently recalled it for free tail lamp replacement and installed a rubber socket over the ECU to make sure water doesn't enter in. Although I respect KTM for taking care of their customers, they should have looked into such minor issues at the first place. Apart from that, gear ratios could have been a little better as well. I wish the final gearing was a little taller, although it's not a huge thing and one wouldn't notice unless they are seriously into touring. And fifth thing that I wish was different is the headlamps. It looks chunky, it's got bright LEDs but the spread is limited and that's an issue with almost every motorcycle coming with LED headlamps. Again this is not something you'll complain unless you're into serious night riding. So if you've made it till here, you're amazing. Thanks for watching.